we have not seen Bitcoin's bottom yet, guys. Do not be fooled because if we take a look at the four hour chart, Bitcoin is forming a symmetrical triangle. This is a neutral chart pattern, meaning that it can go up or down. But based off some evidence and indicators that we're going to look at right now, well, guys, it's looking more bearish than bullish. This is a warning for Bitcoin holders and Bitcoin traders. So as you guys know, for the past couple days now, we have created this symmetrical triangle. As you guys know, because of the FTX situation, we've seen a major dump. Yes, we've seen a major crash. So I knew this was going to happen. It was going to be all over the place, as you guys can see. And yes, so we have a symmetrical triangle. What does this tell us? Well, it tells us that there's a 50% chance it can pump and a 50% 50 chance it can dump. But based off some indicators, we can see that, you know, it's not looking good for Bitcoin right now. First off, let's look at the um, RSI. As you guys can see, it did earlier create a higher high on the RSI. It gained a lot of strength, as you guys can see right here. But if we take a look, the price of Bitcoin did the opposite. It made a higher low, as you guys can see. It tried to break above 17,000. It could not. This is a bearish sign for Bitcoin. On top of that, we have low volume occurring right now. As a result, it is consolidating. And by Sunday, we are going to see Bitcoin either pump or dump. But I'm going to explain two scenarios that can happen and it doesn't look good for Bitcoin. Also, if we take a look at the MACD, well, guys, we can see that it's starting to lose strength. And it looks like it's about to cross for a sell again. So we need to be careful, guys. As you guys can see, it's about to cross. It's losing strength for buying. It's not looking very good, guys. We need to pay attention carefully to Bitcoin within the next 24 hours. If we look at the daily time frame, guys, yesterday, Friday, it closed the, you know, the daily time frame as a doji candlestick meaning that it's neutral it doesn't know what it wants to do so this is up to the bears and bulls on what happens next either one can take control but based off some evidence well it looks like bitcoin bears are going to win this one how far can we go well guys i do expect we're going to be retesting this area of supports again around the 15,800. Is it possible that it can go lower? Yes. Um, if this happens, it's because of the news. As you guys know, <clears throat> because of the news going on with Bitcoin, with the banks, institutions, uh, exchanges, crypto lenders, well, this is why we've seen Bitcoin dump. So, what can happen, guys? Well, the first scenario, we can see Bitcoin pump. So what happens if Bitcoin pumps? Well, if Bitcoin pumps, if Bitcoin pumps, I do expect Bitcoin to pump all the way to 18,200. And then we see a major dump just because of all the news going on with crypto right now it is bearish so yes it is possible we could see 18,500 an area of support or an area of volume before seeing a major dump this is why i said the two scenarios i'm going to explain are bearish no matter what because short term we are going to see it is possible we can see a bitcoin pump and then dump right away but as you guys can see, first step, if we want to see Bitcoin pump, is it must break above 17,000 before we even talk about that. Now, second scenario that could happen is we just see a major dump or a dump right away. And we're probably going to test the 15,800, probably bounce are here and then 
back up to 16,000 very quickly and consolidate for a while. That's the second scenario. It's still bearish in my eyes, but if we take a look at Ethereum, Ethereum has a higher chance of pumping than Bitcoin just because we didn't create a higher, you know, high on the RSI, meaning that it can pump. But if we take a look, volume is very low. It's creating a symmetrical triangle, meaning that it's neutral. It can go either way. So I'm guessing that Ethereum is waiting for Bitcoin's next move based off the next move of Bitcoins, it will follow along. So as you guys can see, it did manage to pump just a little bit. It couldn't. Now we're consolidating. As I said, by Sunday, the end of Sunday, we should see if Bitcoin and Ethereum pump. But there is a higher chance that Ethereum does pump than Bitcoin. But... With that said, that is all I have for today. Make sure to hit the like button. Smash it, guys. Smash. Let's get to 20 likes along with subscribing, guys. If you want to stay updated with daily technical analysis on the next Bitcoin move, hit the subscribe button. Turn post notifications to not miss any updates on Bitcoin, on crypto. But... With that said, this is DC Trading. Make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, get yourself a Nano Ledger X, guys. Yes, get yourself a Nano Ledger X because the word around the town is if you don't own your keys, you don't own your crypto. So click the link down below. Go buy yourself a Nano Ledger X. It don't have to be a Nano Ledger, but it can be a, you know, a Ledger. Just go on the website down below. Go check it out. But with that said, comment down below, guys, what you guys think. Will Bitcoin pump or will it dump? And how high will it pump if you believe it does pump? Or if you believe it's going to dump, how low will it dump? I want to hear you guys' opinions. And yes, go check out my previous video I did on Bitcoin where I explain, you know, you guys need to prepare for the next Bitcoin move. I'm telling you, we can see more downside. It is very possible. But with that said, peace.